Welcome back to the Ebony Sheree Show. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try to attempt to create another eye makeup tutorial. Um, I pretty much did my brows and foundation and blush and everything off camera because for some reason my SD card likes to process longer clips into two clips in... I don't have a video thing to process them and upload them to YouTube and da 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 so I'm just going to make this short and sweet as possible. But again, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. So we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to go in with my Morphe Stunning 35V palette and it looks like this. Like I said before, I'm on a Morphe kick right now, so don't hate me. I'm just going to do like a simple eyeshadow look today. Um, nothing too crazy. And I'm also going to be using my It's Ray Ray palette. Also in collaboration with BH Cosmetics. I got this at Ulta Beauty when it was on sale obsessed so pretty and it comes with highlighters contour colors these are perfect shades for fall so I will be dipping into this today as well okay I'm all like semi trying to get this all like set up still I should take this off but you know what I'm not okay so using my Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH30 brush, and it looks like that. A big old fluffy head brush. Why every time I go to record a video, I get all like nasally and I have like a nasal drop? Like, really? Okay, so I'm going to take a neutral base color and I'm just going to throw that all over my lid. And it's pretty much just going to be like my transition shade. Ugh, this brush is so light and airy filling on my eye. Obsessed. And I'm just going to repeat what I did on the other eye. This hair looks so shiny on camera. I love it. This is the red... Um, wig I got off Amazon for only $24 yes $24 and it is long like super long I think it's like 18 or 20 inches it's it's pretty long my honey got me an Amazon card from my birthday my birthday was back in September and I wasn't really, like, sure what to get. He got me a Kindle Fire 8 for Christmas. So I was like, ooh, I can use this to um, get books and stuff. And I was like, mm, I kind of want to try an Amazon wig. Because I've seen, like, YouTube videos on reviews of, like, Amazon wigs. And people being, like, shook that it's so nice. And I was like... I should do that because if you know me I'm like wig queen like love fake hair so I was like hmm. I've never really ordered a wig offline before I've always been able to like go into a beauty supply store and like try on the wig and see if it really fits my face or if the color works for me but I'm loving it I'm like lightweight kind of obsessed I'm I like it. I have it like pent up kind of so it's not like all in my face when I'm doing my makeup. But yeah, just had to, you know, show that off a little bit. <laughs> okay, back to the eyes. So now that I've put my transition color, I am going to go in with my Morphe M441 blending brush. And it looks like that. And I'm going to, you know what? I wish I had the shade names on lock, but the shade names come on this thing here. And I'm going to go into shade Wild Thing. There we go. I'm just going to do that. So you guys are know 
which shades I'm dipping into. And I'm just going to put this all over into my crease and my upper lid. And I'm going to start out slowly. Oh, so pigmented. I'm just going to brush that up a little bit. And then I'm going to blend it out. I've been like so obsessed with the color burgundy since last fall. For my 25th birthday, I bought a little burgundy cocktail dress and I've been obsessed with the color since. Like obsessed. So I own a lot of burgundy shirts and I mean the burgundy hair and the accessories like I had a burgundy shirt on at first, but I literally look like a huge marker. So I was like, okay, I need to put on black and kind of like wash this out a little bit. So tone it down. And I'm just going to keep blending, blend, 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 blend. And get it a little light, just enough to coat because I'm going to go in with other colors and create some dimension to my eye. And then I'm going to repeat that same step on this side. I'm really gonna try to create this like as fast as I can. So this uploads all in one video. Maybe I just need a larger SD card. I really need to go to the store and like find one. Because the one I'm working with now is a 16. And I probably need either like a 32 or like the 120 whatever. I don't know if that's the reason. Or maybe my boyfriend's laptop can't process memory like that. I'm just, I don't know. But <laughs> this is my third attempt trying to do a makeup tutorial and it gets cut into two clips so I have all this cool footage just chilling and can't be uploaded not cool so once I have this all blended and on the out parts I try to do a little circular motion you know what I forgot to put on tape I have the tape right here and I was going to tape the edges of my eye to get that really like cut look. And um. Yeah I forgot. Oh well. Well. On to the next. So. I'm going to go in with my Sonia Kush brush. And I don't. It doesn't have a name to it or anything. But it's like a flathead blending brush like that. I don't know if this is like focusing. But yeah, that's what that looks like. And I am going to go into shade. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. Control Freak using my It's Ray Ray palette. And I'm just going to go into the crease. And I'm just going to blend that. Ooh, that's kind of light. Actually, I'm going to go into shade Midnight on this palette. There we go. There goes the smoke. We're going to try to do... I said I was going to do natural. Now I'm all doing a smoky eye. Oh, my God. I'm such a mess. These videos are really going to show like how indecisive I really am when it comes to things like. So I'm just going to blend. And round it out lightly. And I'm going to take that same color using the same brush and I'm going to repeat that step on this eye. And I like to flick from the edges a little bit and then work my way up. Yeah. 
and I literally just go like right to left, left to right, and I drag it down to my lower lid a little bit. And then once I have it blended out in my crease, I like to go back in right here and kind of fill that in a little bit. And it's up to you how dark or light. If you want it lighter, keep blending. If you want it darker, you can build up more color and build it up. That's completely up to you. And I'm going to go back into shade Wow Thing using the same brush. It's getting a little bit of product on the brush. And I'm going to lightly throw some color back into my upper lid. And drag that down to my inner corner just a little bit. All right. Now that that step's done, I am going to go into shade. I'm really torn into using either Tiffany or Fairy Tale with the It's Ray Ray palette because it's so pretty. Hmm. let's see I'm going to swatch them both real quick and compare whoa that's really orange I'm like up oh, up oh, can you guys nope can't see what I'm trying to see <laughs> okay what about Allison Allison for the win it totally goes with the color scheme. So I'm going to dive into Allison. And actually, I should have sprayed my brush a little bit. That was my mistake. <sighs> and I'm going to spray. Okay, and then I'm going to dip into that shade Allison, and then I'm going to put that all on my lower lid. Not all over, but kind of partially, I would say about 80% on the lower lid. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm actually... Mm, I had a little bit of blue on there beforehand and I did not wipe my brush like a dodo because I was rushing. So I've seen a little bit of blue pick up, but I'm just going to take care of that. There we go. And now I'm just going to go back in and I'm going to pat and swipe. I love that really pretty shade and I have a lot of um, BH cosmetic palettes recently I wasn't like really a fan until recently I have the um, what is it I have the take me take me back to Brazil palette and I also have the solar palette and the aura lights palette so I'm going to be doing some looks with those but BH cosmetics I mean I've known about them for years but I just didn't own any other products and the palettes I have obsess so pretty I have like four now and that's including the it's Ray Ray palette as well that's the only collaboration palette I have with the Beauty Guru from um, BH, but I really, really like it. And I love the color story. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to pat and swipe. And then the brush I use for this is my Morphe Jaclyn Hill. And that is the JH41. It's a flat head like that. You can kind of see where I was like swiping some of that blue. <laughs> <laughs> off my brush because that was looking a little tacky 
I was like, oh no, I hope that doesn't transfer, and it totally did. Whoa, getting a little out of place. Okay, now that we have that laid, I'm now going to... I think I'm just going to hop straight into lashes, honestly. I think that's where I'm going with this. Oh, no, you know what? I lied. And I also realized I didn't go in with my Ben Nye luxury powder either under my eyes. Thank God this palette is amazing. It has no fallout. <sighs> I'm just a mess. That's what I get for trying to rush because I really, really want to be able to upload this. <laughs> Please work. <laughs> okay. So I need to highlight my brows. And I do have a brush for that. And that is my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. And I'm going to go in with one of the lightest shades. Barely even touched my brow. You see that? Obsessed. And I'm just going to drag it. Sometimes I like to go down with it a little bit. Sometimes I like to go all the way to the front of the brow. It just depends. Love. Drag it down a little bit so it blends into the shadow on your upper lid. That's so bright. I live. Love, love, love. <laughs> now for some lashes. I was going to put on liner, but I don't want this to be, like, super, super dramatic. So we're just going to cut the wing for today. And then, actually, I think I'm going to... I literally just made a nail mark in my pan. I don't know if you guys can see, but I can, and I hate that. Oh, I try to keep my shadows so nice. That really just, like irked me just a little just a little okay and don't tell me I'm gonna have to go through my bag to find some lash glue but luckily it's just sitting right here and for lashes I'm just gonna go in with my Arndale wispy lashes like I usually do I love those they're so pretty and natural looking and I am just gonna pop these on really quick I'm like, if I can pull them apart. I use my lashes probably about a good like three or four times and then I go to a new set. I don't know if that's bad or good, but I take pretty good care of them and I clean them, so. Oh well. <laughs> lashes could be expensive, okay? I'm like trying to ball on a budget over here. A very small one at that. So I'm going to let that get a little tacky. And then I'm going to apply it to my I like to like lightly set it on the, my lid. Oop, the corner is a little too high. Bring that down a little bit. And then once I apply it on, I like to just push it up a little bit with my finger to kind of see like where it's sitting. All right, on to the next one. I know it seems like I'm doing this so fast and I'm sorry, I'm just trying to see if it's like literally like a length 
thing for the videos why they're not uploading right and if so I am gonna go out and go get a larger memory card or maybe I just need like a video editor program I just I don't know this is all new to me I usually upload things with my phone but since my gorgeous gracious kindness cousin sent me this camcorder I'm gonna use it so with a little tucky then I'm gonna pop that one on this side And trust me, it took me forever to learn how to pop on lashes so fast. Like my mom, Mama Jackie, my mother, literally one time I seen her just go boop. She was like, the key to it, don't overthink it when you're putting on your lash. But I have shaky hands and I know some people have shaky hands. Some people can control it, some people can't. And I just, I try not to overthink it and just lay them on. So now that the lashes are laid, I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and just put a little dark coat under my natural lashes so they blend into the fake ones. All right, now I am going to highlight my cheekbones and um, yeah, let's see, um, I'm going to go in, actually, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Sun Dip and I am going to go in, actually I'm going to spray in my face real quick so it really lays on. And I usually like swim in my setting spray. And I'm absolutely okay with that. So I'm going to take my Ofra fan brush. And I'm going to dip into bronzer and moonstone. Whoa. That's a lot. But that's okay because I'm super extra and... I can do that. <laughs> I'll, I'll work with it. <sighs> Blinding. There is highlight that comes with the Ray Ray palette. Whoa. I am glowing. Oh, that's literally probably like one of my favorite parts. And then if I feel like if I overdid it a little bit, I just take my finger and I just kind of blend it out even though because the Anastasia's it's so pigmented it's like once it's on there it's on there so just glow who cares you're the one wearing it not anyone else so that's what I tell myself when I think I've put too much makeup on I'm like is that even a thing okay so then I'm gonna highlight the tip I was gonna say I was gonna highlight the tip of my nose whoa and then, of course, my Cupid's bow. I'm just highlighted. I'm glowing, glow, 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 glow. Now for a lip. Let's see what I have in here. Is that like a purplish color? Yep. Can't do that. Oh, you know what? Huh. I'm going to go in with a classic. I'm going to go in with my MAC Russian Red. It's a matte. I haven't worn this in a while. I 
I wish I had like a nude or a type of gloss, but I don't. <laughs> And then what I like to do with cream lipsticks, even though this says it's a matte, it doesn't really dry. Like, I'm spoiled when it comes to the liquid lips because I know that's really going to dry down. So I like to take a pencil, and this is a MAC lip pencil. And I'm going to line my lips a little bit. And I have really small lips, at least I think so. I know you're probably thinking like, why did I line my lips um, after putting on lipstick? To me, I feel like you can do vice versa. You can either throw on your pencil, then your lip, or throw on your lip, then your pencil. I kind of like to put the pencil on after that kind of really mattify my lipstick. But that's just my little makeup tip that I like to do, but to each their own. All right. So I would say that is the finish look for today. I know it was fast. I can try to go slower next time, but like I said, I really just want to see if it's like really a time thing or why my videos are uploading into two clips. Well, if you watched today's video and you like it, please like and subscribe while you're already here. Share this video if you don't mind. You can also follow me on my other social media platforms, Snapchat, Ebony Sheree 4, Instagram, Ebony Sheree 4, The Ebony Sheree Show 4, and then you can follow me on Twitter as well, and you can just look me up as Ebony Sheree Griffin, The Wandering Girl, and then for my show, it's just The Ebony Sheree Show. Well, like always, thanks for watching.